Actually, he's, he's just dealing with um, a cut on his elbow. Uh, they got a little bit infected, uh, but he's fine. Uh, when he went down on the ground the other night. That's okay, though. <laughs> Anything jump out at you tonight? Turnovers <laughs> jumped way out. Uh, we were careless with the ball. Um, really, two things offensively. Um, those careless turnovers and then a few possessions when the game was still in the balance where we just didn't move the ball. We didn't share the ball. They were sharing the ball. It, was, it became more challenging to defend them as they were moving the ball. And we weren't moving the ball. It became easier to defend us. Um, but then we did some good things where the ball was flying around. We, we missed shots. Uh, I don't mind that uh, as long as we're playing our style. Um, so we just need to get better and more consistent in getting to that game. There were some great possessions of it. And then we'll go to the bottom of the barrel, worst possessions we could possibly have, either with turnovers or uh, not playing together, not, not uh, sharing. Is it good to see that lineup, your starting lineup, the first time, Giannis and Dwayne? What did you kind of see from that? Well, they came out uh, very aggressive. Uh, the activity level is good. Um, there's some turnovers again in that, that stretch uh, as well. But in terms of uh, intensity, uh, I didn't have a problem with the way that, that game started. Back in 2010, when you guys first came here, you know, it was like everywhere else. You know, he was booing LeBron, constantly booing LeBron. Tonight, you know, we had the back-to-back dunks. The place gave him a standing ovation. Are you surprised by, you know, just how the game has kind of changed? Uh, yeah, again, that already changed last year. Uh, so we, we've been through all the different scenarios you can you can uh, experience. Uh, crowds that hate us, uh, crowds that cheer for us. Uh, at least they're passionate one way or another. So um, it, it, it makes it uh, more enjoyable for our guys to play uh, on the road. Our guys take a lot of pride uh, in their games, uh, in our game. So. Uh, it's great to have games that you feel that meaning you know, uh, of having a spirit in the crowd. Thoughts on uh, Bradley Beals, like the ball was finding him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a heck of a young player. Uh, the, the biggest thing with him was being healthy and getting reps. Once he's able to get those uh, the reps and uh, gain his confidence, uh, he's got a very good skill set. The uh, shooting stroke looks uh, terrific for a young player, uh, especially. Be able to stretch that beyond three. When he was coming out of college, or comparisons to Ray, this accurate up. What did you see any of that? Well, the biggest thing with Ray was uh, the consistency, durability, the sustainability over many, many years uh, in the clutch play. So that uh, uh, will have to play itself out. But in terms of a young talent that feels very comfortable behind the line. <laughs> it feels like he could shoot for 35 feet and it'd be the same form. He has a bright future ahead of him. Right now we're still in preseason mode of trying to work on our game. I'm sure we'll get to that point. Uh, they have a terrific offseason. We're all well aware of it. It's, it's tough to put together an offseason where you uh, reshape your roster uh, that significantly and add the type of talent, veteran talent, experience talent, playoff talent. We have respect for uh, all of those guys because we've been in playoff battles with virtually every single one.